Shalom from oneforisrael.org Life can sometimes feel unfair when we look at people around us who seem to be more successful or somehow win more favor from God, especially if we judge things according to their outward appearance. But if we take a step back for a moment and look into things with a closer examination and better understanding, we will find that the term unfair doesn't really exist when God is in the picture. This truth is revealed in a powerful way in our weekly reading portion taken from the book of Numbers chapters 25 verse 10 to chapter 30 verse 1. One of the highlights of this reading portion is the handing over of the leadership role from Moses to his successor Joshua, the son of Nun, which takes place prior to the entry of the people of Israel into the Promised Land. We read the following in Numbers chapter 27 verses 12 to 18. The Lord said to Moses, Go up into this mountain of Avarim and see the land that I have given to the people of Israel. When you have seen it, you also shall be gathered to your people, as your brother Aaron was, because you rebelled against my word in the wilderness of Tzin, when the congregation quarreled, failing to uphold me as holy at the waters before their eyes. These are the waters of Merivah, of Kadesh, in the wilderness of Tzin. Moses spoke to the Lord, saying, Let the Lord, the God of the spirits of all flesh, appoint a man over the congregation, who shall go out before them and come in before them, who shall lead them out and bring them in, that the congregation of the Lord may not be as sheep that have no shepherd. So the Lord said to Moses, Take Joshua the son of Nun, a man in whom is the Spirit, and lay your hand on him. First, it's important to note that God in His kindness made sure that Moses would see the Promised Land with his own eyes before his death. We at times have the privilege of seeing the fruit of our hard labor, but at times it is only the next generation that will reap what we have sowed. Another important note from this passage is the heart of Moses as a true shepherd, who isn't so much concerned about self-pity at this point, but rather is concerned who will, who will be the next shepherd of Israel. It would be wonderful to see more of this type of care in the world today, especially with our leaders. But regarding the punishment Moses receives, this is where you might say, God is really unfair. Why does Moses, the great leader of the exodus from Egypt and the prophet of God and the faithful servant of his people, miss out on entering the promised land just because of one mistake? Well, there is a very crucial reason for this. Moses, with no doubt, had God's calling on his life and played a major role in the birth of Israel as a nation at Mount Sinai and delivering the laws and commandments of God for Israel to follow. But Moses, spiritually representing the giving of the law by God, cannot be the one to bring the people of Israel into the Promised Land because of the deeper meaning of this event. Israel's entering into the Promised Land is a picture of the spiritual entry each person must go through into a right relationship with God. Paul the Apostle explains in Romans 3.20 that the law reveals our sins but can't save us from them. For by works of the law no human being will be justified in his sight, since through the law comes knowledge of sin. This is exactly why religion and keeping the law can never be the way to bring us to God and spiritually enter the Promised Land. But now, God in His love and mercy will appoint a new shepherd named Joshua, which means in Hebrew, the Lord will save, to bring His people into the land. While Moses represents the law of God, which reveals our sins and need for redemption, Joshua represents the saving hand of a good shepherd who will lead his people into the land. Joshua's name foreshadows a greater name that is above all names with exactly the same meaning, Yeshua, Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins, Matthew 1.21. Are you struggling with God or feel things are unfair in your life? The truth is that like Israel and even Moses, we all deserve to die and be judged because of our rebellion and sin. But praise God for the picture of Joshua, who is a clear picture of Messiah Yeshua, the Good Shepherd, who is the only one who can take us into God's presence in the Promised Land. That is all for this week, but please join us next week for another installment of Five Alive. 
Wishing you God's shalom from One for Israel. And don't forget to share. Our ministry, One for Israel, is an initiative of native-born Israelis on the forefront of media and high-tech evangelism, boldly proclaiming salvation to Israel. Raising up leaders and equipping them with the tools they need to transform our communities. We also provide humanitarian aid to Holocaust survivors with the love of Yeshua. Join us as we share the gospel in Israel. Become one for Israel.